Hey everybody, this is Henry with Henry Island Photography and today I'm going to show you how to remove blemishes under a model's eyes and make it look natural and do it all in a matter of moments. Watch. Okay, everybody, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the model and we're going to um, fix the eyes, the little darkness under eyes and the little bags to make them look, make her look more appealing. And But we don't want it to look fake. We want to look as natural as possible. A lot of times people over edit and that's not what this tutorial is all about. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to brighten the exposure up just a little bit to get it pretty much how we think it should look. Come back to your image, right click it, go to edit in. Adobe Photoshop 2020. Very simple. So Photoshop will open up in just a moment. All right, here we go. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your background and you want to make a duplicate copy of it. Very important that you do this. Always make a duplicate copy because you don't want to mess up your image. Come over here to your patch tool. And as you can see, replaces a selected area using a pattern or pixels from another part of the image. Very important. So all you want to do is you want to come over, you want to highlight her eyes, the right underneath her eye, just like this. And you want to grab it down to an area close to that looks similar to as far as texture is concerned. Let it go. See how smooth that looks? It looks great, but it looks a little fake. Come over to the other eye. Do the same exact thing. Pull it down, let it go. Now, as you, you can see right here, it's a little bit blotchy. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna circle again and I'm gonna lift it up. I just wanna smooth this little area out right here so it doesn't look too blotchy. Okay, maybe a little bit right here. A little bit more. Pull in and get the texture. It's really smooth. Looks really, really nice. The thing is, it looks fake. It looks nothing like our model. Looks completely different from here to there. Some people say, oh, that looks great. You took off years, but there's no texture under the eyes. It just doesn't look natural. But because we created this background copy, all you have to do is come over here to fill, grab it, take it down where I like to be around 50%. Voila, look at this now, from there to there. It looks almost perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this image. And you you know, before we save it, if you want to, if that looks a little too unnatural for you, you can always grab it back, go this way to make it look unnatural, or you could even bring it back the other way to give a little bit more texture in our eyes. And to me, I think around 40, I think that looks really good. The thing is, is right here, when you pull that patch tool, it looks a little dark. So our eyes still aren't popping the way you want them to. So we're going to save this image. Command save on a Mac. W, open up Lightroom. Okay. Back to our image. A little bit dark in this area. What we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our paint brush, our adjustment brush, click on it, hit new, and I already got a little selection made for my exposure. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint just a little bit. Just a little bit. And you're gonna grab your shadows now, and you're gonna pull them. If you go too far, see how it starts to get a little too bright around the eyes? Pull it back just a little bit. Hit done, done. If you hit your Y key, you'll see before and after. See how much brighter it is right here than over here? Brighter in this area than here, and it looks a whole lot smoother than our original image. That's before, that's after. It is so simple. 
to make a model look so natural. All right, everybody, there you have it. Didn't take that long to do the video to show you how easy it is to remove blemishes under a model's eyes. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this in Photoshop. And there's a million videos out here that you can watch. Um, I wanted to show you a quick and easy way of doing it that's not that hard and is easy to understand. It's really just a few simple steps just to do it. Um, you don't have to go into all these different layers and create all these masks and use all these different tools. It's a matter of just two or three different tools with a mask. Um, hopefully you learned something out of this video. If you want to learn more, all you have to do is just comment below in the comment section and I would definitely um, try to reply back to everyone. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell over off into the corner so that you can get notifications when I post new videos. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again really soon. Stay safe and keep on shooting.